If you're scraping Twitter data, you may want to target tweets by geographic location, like where the user lives or if the tweet is geotagged in a particular country, region, or state. The Twitter data API makes it incredibly easy to query by location, whether if you want to get geographically based tweets for real time in the past seven days, or if you want to query and analyze historical data from Twitter's full archive since 2006. Let's start with the standard tweet search API, which is the easiest one to use. I have plenty of other videos on that. I'll link to them in the description. You can learn how to use this API that way. So if we want to search by location, and we just read through this doc here, I'll also link to this below, we can see that they give us this geocode option where we can put in a latitude and longitude and a radius so we can do a search radius and find people who have posted with tweets geotagged in that specific area, or if that user lives in that area, it'll also show us their tweets according to their documentation. So that's great, but many of us don't have latitudes and longitudes memorized by heart for popular locations, and it also doesn't allow us to search a non-standard geographic area like a specific country. So we could keep looking at this documentation and you'd think, oh, that's it, I guess that's the only way to search by location. But if you scroll up and read the fine print over here, you'll see that this Q parameter is actually an operator which can get much more complex. So if you scroll down, it'll give you some examples of some standard operators you can use, like you can use the minus thing to remove things that contain the scary keyword, and then also you can search by attitude with a smiley or frowny face, I guess it classifies sentiment that way, and question asking, you can get tweets up until a certain date. So while there's a lot of advanced functionality here, they neglect to mention location until you scroll down and read some more fine print. And they tell us that the search operator near isn't available. I think that's a more premium operator. You may have to pay for that uh, availability. However, you can use more precise as how they market it, targeting by putting in a latitude and longitude. So we already saw that on the last page. What they don't mention is if you scroll up all the way and you look at all these, you'll see that there's a special hidden link here where you can search by tweets by place. So in this example, you give it a place ID, which is a unique ID for a Twitter place. In this example, they use Twitter HQ. So we can click on the link and see a quick demo on their app. So if we click here, we can see this cute little dog is working from home at Twitter HQ. So if I click on this, it shows us the place here. I can see by the URL, and this is the ID of the place. However, Twitter frustratingly doesn't have a search feature to find places. Like if I want to find the place for New York or for a county, I can't do that. The search doesn't allow me to do that. I tried it. I think you may need premium access to the API. So the only way to get these places is to browse around Twitter until you find a place you're interested in. So then once you find a place you want to query for tweets by, you just take note of this ID and you can use this endpoint here. So if this place thing isn't super well supported when it comes to larger geographic areas like regions or states, and the only other way of targeting is by point and radius, we don't really have a good way to search by country or state or you know bounded regions like that. Until we consider the premium search endpoints that Twitter offers, they give us more flexibility. So a little known fact about these premium operators that Twitter offers on their API is you can use them for free in sandbox mode and they'll give you up to 50 requests per month for free. So let's check out the full archive endpoint. I have another video on how you can use this endpoint as well and get tweets back from 2006. Here's the documentation for their premium search endpoints and we scroll down a little bit we'll see they have a breakdown between sandbox and premium premium, meaning we actually have to pay for this type of premium. And we'll notice a breakdown here called operator availability. So what I showed you before and how to search by place ID was by using an operator. And the more you pay Twitter, the more operators will allow you to search by, like I showed you, you could search by keywords or by if it's asking a question or even by uh, sentiment if it's positive or negative. So let's check out the sandbox to see if they restrict our location searching. And we'll see here they have an operator and they'll tell you how, who's allowed to use this operator. So exact phrase match. If I want to search all the tweets for this phrase since 2006, I can do it on the sandbox with 50 requests for free each month. If I want to search for tweets that mention a specific user, same deal here by hashtag, by stock ticker is limited. You can only do that on really paid accounts. So if we keep scrolling down a little bit, we'll finally get to the operator called place underscore country, which allows us to search tweets where the place that was tagged is within a full country. You can use any of the major ISO alpha two country codes over here, and it will get all those tweets and you can do it on the free sandbox account. 
As for drilling down even further by like specific region or even subsections within a city, you can see they have profile locality where I can actually put in like a specific neighborhood in New York, like Lower East Side or wherever you live, you can put in a region. And Twitter probably has some really super advanced uh, knowledge graph of geographic data. It can categorize all these different locations in. However, you'll notice it's not a sandbox feature. You really have to pay to use this one. Same with profile region. So I could look for everyone in New York, the state, versus getting everyone in the United States, my country. So if you need to do any specific targeting within your own country or your target country, you would need to pay Twitter to use one of these uh, premium operators because they're not available in Sandbox. One possible workaround you can do is if you want to target multiple cities within the same country, you can do that on the standard API and just run multiple targeted searches on those different cities and combine the results together. So let's do a few demos describing what we just talked about. I'm going to be using the Steve C data platform. Full disclosure, this is a paid product. I happen to own it. You're free to use whatever product you want and follow the same concepts I'm going to show you. So this here is the standard tweet search endpoint that we started with. It lets me look at the past seven days of tweets and I can do basic searches using the standard operators like what does the tweet contain a hashtag and I can also search by geocode if I give it a latitude, longitude and radius. So let's get all the tweets containing hashtag beer around New York. I'm just going to put in hashtag beer for my basic standard operator query, have my access token and for location I want to get my coordinates in New York. So usually I just Google the city and then coordinates. It'll give you the latitude and longitude. So you enter the latitude. If it's north, it's a positive number. So just put, paste it in as is. And then for longitude, because this is west, I have to use a negative number. So just make sure you remember to change that to a negative when you enter it. And then put in a radius. I'm just going to say three miles and do a quick search and see what tweets I get back. So I can see there's plenty of people posting about beer in the middle of a pandemic. I can download the results. So here are all the tweets. I have other videos that go into how you can do this, but let's see if any of them are geotagged in a place. So if I look for place ID, I'll see this column that shows me if the uh, tweet is tagged with a place. And here's one. So I can look that this is geotagged in Manhattan. So I can copy this place ID and go back and change my search to include the place. So I'm going to do place colon that ID like we saw in the search over here where they just did place colon Twitter HQ in the documentation example. I'm just going to add it here to my search and let's see if we can only get tweets geotagged in Manhattan, but also using the geo coordinate filter. And here I only got two results back, but this makes sense because I was maybe a little bit too specific in my search because you can see I was searching for both tweets that were around my coordinates and also geotagged at this exact place. And we saw a lot of people aren't using the geotag feature on Twitter. So it seems like this is probably a good filter. If you're trying to find tweets around a city, you just have to put in uh, your city coordinates. Now I'm going to show you how I can run the search, but using multiple cities. So if I want to get all the cities in New York or a couple key cities in my country without relying on the premium search operator, I can just do it using the standard search operator on the Steve Z platform. If you scroll down, you'll see workflows and you can import this one, which will allow you to search by multiple locations. So I imported it to my account and what this will do, it allows me to enter a list of locations and the Stacy platform will automate access to that endpoint and run through each of the locations I provide. And then at the end, it will stitch all the results together into a single CSV file for me. So here I just put in New York again and I just put in Los Angeles for fun. So we're going to do two cities. As for pagination, I'm going to set a limit. So when I look under advanced inputs, I'll see the pagination loop that CSV will do. So it's going to run my search. Like if I do beer, it's going to run on each city and keep paginating through for each city, but I don't want this to run forever. So I'm going to tell it to only do an extra page for each result. So I'm only going to do four total requests just for this quick demo, put in my access token and you're required to enter a query. You can't search all the tweets. So I'm just going to search for beer. You can search for whatever you want. You can also use those standard operators we looked at before, which you can classify by sentiment. You know, let's do beer with a smiley face or happy posts about beer. Scroll down, check everything else. Steve C automatically set the rate limiting that Twitter allows us. So we can only do 450 requests per every 15 minutes on the Twitter API. So this is already preset on the platform. You don't have to worry about it. It'll extract the tweets back for us and we can just run this. Steve C is running now. It's automating the requests. If you were to write your own code, you could write your own code and basically you would just be engineering how to construct the request and do the pagination each time. But I try to avoid writing code unless it's necessary. Now Steve C is wrapping it up. It's combining all the JSON results into a single CSV file for us. 
and I can see it combined them all into 300 tweets. So here are all the tweets. You can see info about who posted it, all the other things you can get from Twitter, the timestamps, uh, the locations. And you can see here, based on the input for location, I can see that these are the New York tweets based on the coordinates, and then these are the Los Angeles tweets down here. So you can keep adding multiple cities within a region if you want to be able to do this without paying for Twitter's more advanced like region and locality filters. But we can still check out the free country filters where we can put in a country and only get tweets for that country. So this is the Twitter full archive endpoint, which is the somewhat premium endpoint where on the sandbox free trial, we can only do 50 requests a month, which is not a lot, but we can still test it out. So here I have another video on how to access this, what you need to do. You're required to put in a query. So if we look back to the docs, you can see I can just put in place country and then put in any two character code for any country. So I'm gonna do the US to test this out. And then you put in your access token. I'm gonna to go way back in time to 2015 and just see what shows up. You can see I got 100 rows back from Twitter. I can check out the preview here. Uh, they should all be in the United States. So let's download the CSV and take a closer look. So here are all the tweets back from 2015. And let's look at the place information. If I keep scrolling, I'll start seeing information about the city. So here I can see these are all United States cities and places. What I'd like to point out though, is that it looks like all of these have been tagged at a place. And like we saw in the first example that a lot of the tweets were not geotagged. So I have reason to believe that this may only be returning the small subset of Twitter that people are actually geotagging to places. So that may just be a very small percentage of tweets. I'm relatively sure about that. Um, I don't think there's a way to do what we did in the very first demo where you just search by generic geo coordinates and it'll get you tweets that Twitter knows came from that specific area based on the profile uh, versus these later more premium endpoints are going by where people voluntarily geo tagged the tweet, which not a lot of people seem to do. So you do need to ask yourself, you know, what's more important is is basically volume, in which case you may need to use the raw geo coordinates and put in multiple cities like we did before. Or if you're okay with getting a smaller set of tweets back, but having them be more accurate, then I think using these premium operators where you can filter by country, and if you're able to pay, you can filter by locality and even like neighborhoods within a city, that's gonna be more accurate, And but you're only gonna get tweets where people geo tag and volunteer that information. So there you have it. I think I showed you about three ways you can search Twitter by location. And there are a few more, again, if you're willing to pay for a premium account with Twitter. Let me know in the comments what works for you. Uh, if you'd like to see anything more, I'll leave links below to the Steve C Data Platform. It's a paid product. However, you can always use it for free as a reference uh, to drive your own code or your own systems. If you want to use it that way, it's up to you. Give me a thumbs up if you thought this was helpful. Also check my channel. I have other Twitter videos that cover a lot more of these endpoints in depth for how to get bulk data back from Twitter. I hope this helped you and please subscribe and stay data driven.